Hey, it's Peter Reed Miller from On Sports Photography with Peter Reed Miller. Uh, Happy New Year, everybody. It's good to start out the year. Uh, this is our first video of the year. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff coming up this year, a lot more stuff on the site, so please subscribe. Uh, also, we've got workshops both locally and around the country. So stay tuned for all that. But today, I'm going to talk about what's in my bag. Before I start, uh, I just want to explain uh, our video production staff has moved to a new location uh, in the Manhattan Beach studios and they're working on their set. So that's why it looks like I'm in a padded room, although maybe I should be. Okay, this bag is part of the Think Tank Airport series. Uh, they make a whole line of rollers. This is the largest one that will fit in an overhead. Uh, the exception to that is smaller regional jets. When this won't fit in. Um, it's very sturdy. I know, I know the owners. I know the company. It's a great company. Uh, they're photographers. All their gear is good. But this thing is sturdy. It has been around. You can see there's still mud from the Rams game. <clears throat> and uh, these are the little tickets that they put on your bag when they check it every time you go into an NFL game. So those are kind of battle scars. Um, so let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, as you can see, everything is pretty padded, pretty well padded and padded on top of being padded. Um, this, I've taken this, game, this, this bag to games, I've taken it uh, on flights everywhere around the world, uh, never had any problem with any, any gear breaking in this bag. Um, so let's, uh, let's start pulling things out and see what we got in here. Okay, uh, first and foremost, most, most important thing to carry on any shoot, gaffer's tape. It will save you many ways as it has saved us today. Gaffer's tape, very important. Again, we're uh, under construction in the studio and didn't have quite all the screws and nuts that we needed, so we uh, gaff taped one of the cameras to the boom. So what you're seeing from up here is a camera held up primarily by gaffer's tape. Okay, memory cards. This is my beloved CPS memory card holder, SanDisk cards. I use the CFast cards uh, because I use them in the Canon EOS 1D Mark II. Now, I don't have to tell you that this is a great camera. I'm sure everybody already has, but it is a great camera. Probably the best ever from Canon or from any manufacturer. Uh, they're my go-to cameras. I take at least two to every game. Sometimes <clears throat> I bring a third one in another bag, but mostly traveling, I use these cameras and I take two of them. This is a pad for my neck, for the camera that goes around my neck. So you can kind of see this, this helps on neck strain, which I have a lot of. Um, okay, here's another, the third uh, EOS 1D X Mark II. This is a cool, I love this little pouch. It comes from Japan. We don't get the cool stuff over here. They keep it. Okay, so we got three cameras. Okay, what do we got in the way of lenses? Well, spare battery, always essential, at least one. Uh, here we go. Okay, this is the 24 to 70 F4. It's a newer lens, it's uh, IS, and it's dirty. Um, I like this lens because again, I'm gonna, if I'm gonna use it around my neck, it's lighter than the 2.8. Uh, it's very fast focusing, it's very sharp. And I find in most stadiums above high school level these days, you can shoot F4 uh, and you're fine, just because of the quality of the cameras. So we've got 24 or 20, 24 to 70. What else we got in here? Lens cleaning cloth, 
always handy. Monopod. This is a uh, Oban monopod. After I left my $350 Gitzo at a tennis match at UCLA, I went looking on the Amazon and I found this for, I don't know, about 80 bucks. This is the CPS padding. This thing's great. It folds up to fit in the, in the, in the uh, bag and it extends higher than I need it. So this is a great little thing. I think it was about 80 bucks on Amazon. Uh, okay. This is Canon 1.4 extender. I use this a lot. It works really well. It's very sharp. And I use it on... Uh, these bags, by the way, are made by a guy from Tennessee. I'm not sure if he makes them anymore. Uh, they're called Gara Gear. And if you know anything about Tennessee, you know school colors involve a lot of orange. So here we go. Put this down. This has a nice cap that just just fell off. Also, um, I pad the lens even more with uh, knee pads. So I put them down there as, as padding. Um, okay, we got the extender, we got the lens. Oh, here's my last uh, hit list for my last game. All right. This is the uh, Canon 400-2.8 version 3. This thing is great. It's two pounds lighter than the old lens and uh, sharp, fast focusing. It's a wonderful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Works great with the extender. So uh, we got that. And we've got the 70 to 200 F4. Had a little problem with the lens cap. So, so again, I am choosing the lighter lens. This is the latest version version two of the IS. And again, I'll, wear, I'll use this around my neck a lot where I could not do the, uh, the two eight around my neck, uh, the 7200. I just, uh, it's been too many years. So what else we got in here? Okay. All right, now this is uh, stuff for downloading my cards. I usually bring the computer in another bag but uh, I do have a card reader for CFast cards and a uh, backup. This is a terabyte drive. It's amazing, SanDisk. Um, so that's pretty much what I got in here. Um, you know, this will serve me for football, any kind of football, traveling on the road, Home, home games, whatever. This is my go-to bag. This one goes out every time. And uh, this is pretty much my go-to gear setup for football, basketball, most any sports. This is gonna be pretty much what I'm gonna take. Over the years, I used to take tons of stuff out all the time. And I realized that I only used a few of that, those things. So I just cut it down and it's been cut down and cut down and this is the minimum. I mean, I would take a fisheye if I was in a situation. I'll show you one more lens that I might take instead of this lens. But uh, keep it simple, keep it easy, keep it relatively light. Uh, you know, I can still get this up into the overhead with a, you know, a little bit. But uh, so I want to show you something else today that I just got and I'm very proud of. First of all, notice that Canon has given us a very nice case here for the new 600 F4 version 3. Okay, this is the Canon new 600 F4. Uh, the, again, a beautiful lens, light, uh, fast focusing, fastest ever, and sharper than all get out. This is a great lens. So again, this is my gear, this is my bag, this is my story. Yeah, I mean, I, these lenses are great. Um, my shooting style is such that I kind of know where to be. Uh, in a more varied situation, like the Olympics, for example, the Canon 200 to 400 F4 with the built-in extender is killer. That's what I shot the entire last Olympics that I shot with. And you could use it in place of, in place of either of these lenses because it goes to 560. Um, 
This is just a little less depth of field, which is nice when you're shooting sports, just to make people pop out of the background. Uh, and this is a little the same thing. So, you know, that's the only reason I wouldn't use that lens, but it's a great all-around lens and uh, another, great, another great one from Canon. Okay, wrapping it up, this is my gear. Uh, this is what I do with it. But if you want to learn more about shooting this gear and, and actually shoot with this gear or other gear provided by Canon, uh, sign up to my email list. Uh, you can do it at my website, peterreedmiller.com, or I think we're going to show you a link. Uh, also, subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with the videos. But we have a workshop coming up uh, locally later this year. I'm going to do one probably in Northern California and one in Tennessee. And the only way you're going to find out about that is to be on the email list. Uh, one last thing, uh, as far as the pictures that have been submitted for critiques, thank you all very much. We're working on another critique show. In the meantime, let's kind of cool it for a while. We're going to have a Dropbox set up because my email has been flooded. So we're going to have a Dropbox and you can send your stuff there. We'll do another critique, either Steve on a remote or another photographer. Uh, so that's coming up too. So that's it for today. Uh, good shooting.